Okay guys, we're in the process of performing a read on the 78 series. We're doing a tune with the module map remote tuner. Uh, part of the process of doing a read is to connect this battery stabiliser unit that is included with your module map tuner. Very simple process, we've just got to hook it up to the main crank battery, uh, positive and negative, uh, very, very easy to do. Uh, so we'll just do the red onto your positive and onto your negative, like so. Flick your switch on and we're ready to perform the read with the module map. Okay guys, so we're in the process of doing a read with the module map remote tuner. The next step in the process is to locate your OBD2 port. Now the standard place for these to be fitted in your vehicle is in the driver's side footwell, usually up underneath your dash. Uh, in the 78 series, it's up underneath here. Once you connect the OBD2 port, uh, your module map should light up like this into the main menu and we can begin the read process. So now I've connected the module map remote tuner to the vehicle via the OBD2 port. We've got this main menu here, which we need to go through to read the data from the vehicle so we can get a correct tune for each individual car. So we need to select the work on the main menu, select that it's a Toyota. So all your different vehicles will come up in here. In this case, it's a Lean Cruiser 70 series. So we'll just go through the menu. So we've got Land Cruiser 70 series. We'll then select the 4.5 litre V8, which is what this vehicle has. It will also prompt you through this main menu to switch on the dashboard, check the connections and press OK to continue. So we press OK. So the module map's now completing its read of the vehicle. So it's now prompting to switch off the dashboard to continue. It says task successfully completed, so we're good to go. Click download from module map when the button highlights itself in color, which will show that the module map has connected to your computer correctly. Follow all prompts and save the file to your computer and then send these via email. When you send these via email, you also need to attach a relevant vehicle tuning sheet that you will see as a file on your Torquic USB. When completing this form, you're required to include as much information about the vehicle as possible, such as an aftermarket snorkel, an aftermarket intercooler, or an aftermarket Torquic exhaust system. You will receive a reply email from Torquic containing the tuned files for your vehicle. Once you receive these, you need to save these files to your computer so that they can then be uploaded to the module map device. To do this, you need to plug the module map into your computer via the USB cable, open the Torquet module map file on your desktop and select the upload to module map button and follow the prompts. When you're uploading the files, you need to select each file individually and upload each file one at a time. So we've received our files back from Torquet for our module map remote tuner. We're now going to tune the vehicle. First step of this is to make sure that you have your Torquet battery stabiliser connected and turned on. The next step with this is to connect this back into your OBD2 port and turn your vehicle to the on position where it shows your dash lights. So with the module map, we're going to go through work, writing, and then here we can select which tune we want to load onto the vehicle. So this is showing standard at the moment. We've also got cruise, and we've got sport, which will give us maximum power and torque. So we're going to select sport. The module map's now tuning the vehicle. So the module map will also double check with you that you have switched on your dashboard to the on position with your dash light showing. The module map's now tuning the vehicle. Now when the module map is tuning the vehicle, you may see different lights flash on and off. You may also hear different beeping sounds, alerts from your car. This is just the module map communicating with your ECU and putting the new parameters in as it needs to do. 
So the tune's now being written by the module map to the vehicle. Okay, so we've been prompted now that the tune has been added to the vehicle's ECU to switch the dashboard off. And select OK. So the module map now says that it's writing your ECU and that it's completed. We're back to the main menu. So we can now disconnect this and see how much power we've got.